Right now, LMPD is investigating after a teenager was shot and then involved in a car crash. They found the teen with a gunshot wound to his arm and a car crashed into a building. Detectives believe a family member was trying to drive the teen to the hospital when they crashed. Surveillance video from across the street shows several neighbors rushing to the car to offer help after that crash. A spokesperson with the department says officers responded to 24th and Market around 2 p.m. yesterday. I came out and I sat down and I looked down the street and I seen a kid come out of the car and they said he got shot. I mean, and then everybody in the neighborhood came out, you know, saying to help out, you know, saying to find out what happened, to help try to stop the bleeding and stuff to the police got here, which they finally came out in good response time. The teen was taken to the hospital and is expected to survive. There were no other injuries, but police are trying to figure out where that shooting happened. Anyone with information is asked to call the anonymous tip line at 574 LMPD. Well, the state is taking a closer look at a Highlands Bar liquor license, and it could end up losing its license altogether. Cafe 360 made headlines earlier this year after a deadly shooting happened inside. State documents obtained by WHAS 11 shows Kentucky's Department of Alcoholic Beverage Control is looking at an incident from May that involved a fight when a man drew a gun. According to the Kentucky ABC, Cafe 360 failed to have on-site security for metal detecting wands, which violates the agreement with Louisville's ABC. The Highlands Commerce Guide told us the state getting involved is not the outcome that it wanted. There are consequences, and once those lines are set up, there is no option. You either have to enforce it or have the chaos that we have had in the past. That's why it's sad. This is it's not a shame. A, it's not a victory. It is a lack of awareness that compliance has many ways to gain. Now, previously, the city said Cafe 360 had voluntarily agreed to stop serving alcohol after 2 a.m., but later, codes and regulation proposed the business forfeit its 2 a.m. liquor license as well, stopping alcohol sales at midnight. This was in an effort to prevent violence, but the state's case takes precedence as well. What new this morning, former President Donald Trump says he will debate Vice President Kamala Harris. In a post to Truth Social, he said it will happen on Wednesday, September 4th on Fox News with a crowd. He says the location has not yet been determined, but it'll happen somewhere in Pennsylvania. It's unclear if Harris has agreed to this but has said in the past that she does want to deba debate the former president. And this weekend could be the most influential weekend of Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir's political career. Vice President Kamala Harris is expected to conduct formal interviews for a running mate through the weekend and Governor Bashir's schedule notably free. WHS 11 senior reporter Isaiah Kim Martinez breaks down where things stand. With the Harris campaign expected to pick their VP nominee by Tuesday, speculation is swirling over who makes the ticket. And I'm a guy that's going to help Vice President Harris win the presidency and beat Donald Trump this November. Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir in Oklahoma Thursday night before going off the grid through the weekend. This moment turning some heads. Because yes, while I run as a proud Democrat, the moment I win, I take that hat off and I serve every single citizen of Kentucky and maybe just maybe every citizen of the United States of America. I read the lines to former Louisville Congressman Mike Ward. Andy Bashir, I think, was having fun last night in Oklahoma when he threw in the line about an every American because it was on the minds of everybody in that room. So why not say something like that? There's nothing crazier than not talking about the big elephant in the room. Bashir pulled out of a visit to Western Kentucky Friday, and as far as we know, he doesn't have any scheduled events for Saturday or Sunday. His team wouldn't say why, but we know he's been vetted by Kamala Harris, with formal interviews with running mate candidates being the final step. I don't think she's made her mind up yet. During my exclusive interview with Bashir in Iowa a week ago, I read him some of the reported credentials Harris is looking for. Is that you? Well, that certainly describes a governor, and it certainly describes a, a governor that lives in a state where you have to reach across the aisle 
to get things done. Here's University of Kentucky political science professor Stephen Voss weighing in. A candidate like Bashir, who's playing well with white working class labor voters, uh, is key. Uh, the part of the Democratic coalition that's been slipping away uh, most heavily uh, over the last, let's say, decade uh, has been the white working class. But whether Bashir is the one tasked to help convince that group remains to be seen. Isaiah Kim Martinez, WHAS 11, on your side. Moving on, right now there is a road closure in the Crescent Hill neighborhood. Public Works says Grinstead Drive from Lexington Road to Peterson Avenue are closed until 8 o'clock tonight. This will allow crews to repave the roadway. Public Works says it's also working with KYTC to shut down the on and off ramps from I-64 onto Grinstead Drive. They hope this will expedite the paving. And we are going to check in now with meteorologist Reed Yaden and photojournalist John Humphreys. They're at the Street Rods Nationals. Reed, what kind of cars are out there this morning? Looks kind of fun. Oh, you name it, it is here. All types of cars. Let's go right to the forecast now. We've had a few, some parts of the metro picked up a few very light showers. Some of the heavier showers may be passed through J-Town. Piece of energy uh, pinwheeling around a low pressure area moving into southern Ohio. We'll take a look at that in about 15 minutes. Right now, we're moving into the 70s around the viewing area. 89 degrees are high today. Tomorrow, 92, but you'll notice a little less humidity today. These clouds we have now, kind of a stratus deck. They're gonna burn off. It's sun in here today, but north breeze will make it a little more comfortable. Craig, come on over. Let's talk about people, uh, if they wanna come out to the uh, Street Rod Nationals. Yeah, sure. If, the, if you can buy tickets right here at the gate, or you can also pick them up at any O'Reilly Auto Parts store. Okay, lots of tickets available. Nearly 10,000 vehicles here. You will see something you'll fall in love with, guaranteed you.